If you've ever tried to communicate effectively with someone who has hearing loss, you may have left the conversation feeling frustrated. Between their lack of understanding and you having to constantly repeat yourself, it probably wasn't your idea of a good time. Conversation is an integral part of life, however, and is especially important for the hearing impaired. Let's look at some essential communication strategies you can use to have meaningful interactions with loved ones who have less than perfect hearing. Number one, get their attention. Many individuals with hearing loss are unable to process multiple sounds simultaneously, making it difficult to discern your voice from other sounds around them. Get their attention by saying their name, gesturing with your hand, and making eye contact. Do not start the conversation until you have their focused attention. Number two, face them directly. Ideally, you should be looking at them directly and sitting or standing at the same level. The only time this may not be advisable is if the hearing impaired individual has better hearing in one ear versus the other. In this case, you'll want to speak directly toward their ear that has the best hearing ability. Number three, speak to hearing impaired people while you're in the same room with them. If they can't see who is speaking, someone with hearing loss may not realize that the conversation involves them. Or they may not even realize there's a conversation happening at all. Number four, communication will be more effective if the person with hearing loss is wearing their hearing aids. Unfortunately, not everyone with hearing loss has sought out hearing loss treatment. If the person you're speaking with does have hearing aids, however, make sure they're wearing them. Number five, be mindful of your environment. Effective communication with people who have hearing loss is much easier to accomplish in quiet places. The hearing impaired individual won't have to filter out background noise in an effort to hear your voice. If you must converse in a noisy environment, see if you can at least move to a quieter area within the room. Number six, keep your mouth clear. This includes keeping hands and other objects away from your face so it's easier to read lips or process visual cues. It also means not talking while you're eating, chewing gum, or doing anything else that could distort your speech. Number seven, speak naturally and clearly. When communicating with people who have hearing loss, it's tempting to speak louder and with exaggerated words. Resist the temptation and instead speak slowly and enunciate your words clearly. Number eight, realize that effective communication with people who have hearing loss may include writing things down. If you're talking with a hearing impaired individual about important things like appointments or their health care, it might be wise to follow up your conversation with written details. By following these tips, effective communication with people who have hearing loss is possible and is often less frustrating. It's important to remember, though, that hearing loss should not be left untreated. When detected, diagnosed, and treated in its early stages, hearing loss does not have to have a negative impact on quality of life. At Advanced Hearing Group, we're proud to help people with hearing loss in the Mesa or Scottsdale area hear better and enjoy the gift of sound. We offer a variety of hearing related services including hearing tests, custom hearing protection, high quality hearing aids, and more. Simply schedule an appointment with one of our audiologists today and get on the road toward better hearing.